Hello everyone! Today I'm going to be building another bookshelf because this one right here is overcrowded and cramped and I cannot fit any more books on it. I'm starting to stack them right here. There's a little stack right here that you can barely see but that's one of the stacks that I started on my bottom bookshelf. You'll see it's all just randomly stacked and most of the books on there are just randomly stacked now and I bought another bookshelf in May and it is now August and I still haven't put it up it's in the box on the ground and so basically in this video I'm going to be building that bookshelf and making my bookshelves look nice. I've recently bought a lot of books in the past few months and I've started to even stack them on top of my bookshelf that's on the ground that's still in the box <laughs> and I literally have no room to put any more books anywhere now so I you know might as well put up my bookshelf now because I procrastinated this long so I think we're ready now so let's get started building my bookshelf now I got my hammer and my screwdriver we will see which of these I need I know I need this for sure not sure if I need the screwdriver or not but I do know this I need. I need the hammer. So this is an overview. My bookshelf, how it is right now, very dusty. Uh, yeah. Then we have my Agatha Christie collection. So now I'm going to put my bookshelf down and open it and start to build it. Hopefully I don't do what I did last time and put the top piece as the bottom piece and the bottom piece as the top piece. Hopefully I don't do that this time. Okay. Yay! It's open. Okay. Should I read the instructions? I don't think I did last time. And that's how the bottom became the top and the top became the bottom. I've decided to read the instructions because I don't want what happened last time to happen again. So instructions are here for a reason I suppose this is the middle one the first two that I thought were the changeable ones are the ones that go on the top and the bottom and this time it won't be like last time because they're both exactly the same on each side yes so now it doesn't matter about the instructions I can do whatever I want and I won't mess it up Except I still mind. Hey, we can see now. Let's do some actual work. The dowels are in place. So you know what that means. Hammer time. I think actually following the directions this time is helping a lot more. Because last time I think I just looked at the number letters onto the different boards and I was just like yep this goes with that and that goes with that I didn't read actually what goes with what and what goes where correctly so this is a lot better I also think that the bookshelf itself bookshelf itself is a little bit smaller like the boards aren't as big as the other ones so it's kind of weird but um, we'll see and if it is smaller at least I have extra shelves so now I gotta use my screwdriver to attach the shelves we'll see if I don't mess this up
I got two new bookshelves along with this one. So now I have three. And I don't know if I'm going to be using the third one that I bought. But we will see once I put those up. Right now I'm going to be moving this shelf right here. Um, back here on this wall. And I'm going to be moving the small shelf that I have right here and taking that out putting all the books that are on there for right now onto this one until I get the other shelf switched out with that one right there and then putting all of those books from that one onto the other new one and then seeing if I have room to put the third bookshelf on it because the two that I have right now the small one and the big one um they're two and a half feet and I was like, oh, okay, that's five feet together. And the new ones that I bought, these ones are two feet. And I was like, oh, if I get through there six feet all together. It'll definitely fit. And there's only like, like an inch or like two to three inches space between the rest of my wall. I don't actually think it's gonna fit. So we will see if I put that up or not. If so, I will have two new ones. And I bought another one because I like this one better than the other big one that I already had. It's a lot more sturdier and well built. So I'm gonna, I decided to replace that one too. Let's get on to moving all of the bookshelves and putting new ones up. Yay! Goes. By looking at these two side by side, I realize that they don't fit right there, and that at the bottom they do, and that that one is leaning. So really going. So I'm glad I got another shelf so that it doesn't break more than it already is right now. I don't really know what I'm going to do right now for all of the new shelves. So I think I'm just going to start stacking books on there and then maybe take some from this shelf and the books that I took off the tiny one and um, go from there.
finished putting up all three of my bookshelves, which are behind me right now, and I am so glad that I got that done. I managed to build all three of the bookshelves. They managed to all fit right here, which I'm super happy about. And all my books fit on the bookshelves with a one and like like a hat, like a quarter. Like there is some room for other books and they're all standing up the right way. None of them are like sitting on top of each other, laying down. So I'm glad about that. They all fit. It's a miracle. Thank you all so much for watching me build and organize all my bookshelves that I got. I will be doing an in-depth bookshelf tour so you see all the books that I own very soon. So be on the lookout for that. And once it is out, I will have it linked down below in the description for y'all to go and click on. So without further ado, thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!